So, here you can see, very rough, you can see it's very, the shellac on it is very braised. So we'll just be using pale boiled linseed oil and I'm using 00 steel wool. So you don't need a hell of a lot, so we'll just do a little bit there. And what we're going to be doing is with the steel wool, it's actually going to be lifting the scaly or the old shellac and just replacing it with the pale boiled oil. And the reason we use the pale boiled oil is because the linseed goes inside and treats the actual timber underneath, but on the outside where it hits with the air, it'll actually harden like tongue oil. So you can just see with this short little area here how well this has come along. So I'll just do a few shots as we go along to let you um, see the development of it. Stay tuned. Now you can see there's the edge of it, and that's just solid timber. So we'll just give it one coat with this, and again, just double O steel wool. And again, this will just soak in. You will just see how quickly this will soak in. This is one we've done earlier. So again, same with the front. You can see you've got a few blemishes there with the All those shellac scrapes and problems that were there, you can just have a look and just see how beautiful and how easily. Now I'll leave that for about five minutes, let it soak in. You can see at the end there it's just about soaked in already. And then I'll just wipe it with a cloth. Right, now here you can see we've just done one coat on the top. So you can see the streaks on it. So we're now going to take all the streaks off, running with the grain, with a soft lint-free cloth. Again, always go with the grain. We just don't want any streaking on it whatsoever because it'll dry as a high point. Now I'll just get a dry cloth and then I'll just buff that. But that compared to what it looked like there which we haven't touched, I think it's pretty impressive. And this is only one coat. Now here you can see this is a drawer. And again we're just going to be doing the front there. So I'll just pour a little bit of pale boiled oil into the centre there. Right, so what we'll do is we'll just try and go where we can with the grain, but sometimes it's not all that easy. Again, I'm still using the same steel wool that I used on the top, because that's got a bit of the discoloration and the old shellac in it. And the beauty of this is it's conditioned the underneath, as in inside the timber, 
And if you want to shellac it or lacquer it later on, you can either re-sand it and do it, or you can um, do it over the top of it. So you can see that there is actually quite a good little result. Now here we are, we're not even 30 minutes into it. You can see the sun is now just starting to shade on the back. But you can see we've done the top. That's now had its second coat. And you can see we've also done just the drawers. We've done also this little drop front. Oh, we didn't want to have a look in there, did we? But you can see we haven't done that. You may say I'm doing it back to front, but I'm just trying to do it in a way where you'll get a good comparison. So I think you'll find this is a very simple, easy way of doing it. Now looking at this, I'd say this is the end that's had most of the weather. So you can see the, the shellac will just come off so, so easily with this one. Again, still using double O steel wool. Again, you can see going with the grain. Be a bit careful around the decals, but I've these mouldings I've lifted and re-glued. But you can just see the difference. Again, not even an hour into it. And it's looking impressive, isn't it? Now you can see how impressive that's looking now. And what I usually do, because you get some tiny little bits of steel wool actually falling off, especially around these decals, around these mouldings and that, I usually go around with a tiny, as you can see, it's a very firm paintbrush. And it also works out some of the areas that you can't get in with your steel wool as well. So you just give it a little bit of a clean up with a paintbrush. And that just finish it off just that little bit nicer. So here we are, one hour into the job. And I think she's come up pretty darn good. And this is only working at the timber. They haven't even started on the bases yet. But a lot of people look at the base and they say, well, let's just attack it straight away with a wire brush. This one I've just gone over with the damp cloth. And have a look at the gold, which is already around. Looking at that, I'd say that's original. So I would probably recommend that you go over the base just with a damp soapy cloth first and see what you can do. So I'll do one more run over once I've done the base. But this is one hour so far and I think it's come a long way. Now here we are another hour down the track and what I've done is I've just given the base a wash over with a light scourer, soapy water, and I've just given it a coating with something that I use a lot of, which is rust converter, primer, sealer, and that's exactly what it is. It's a rust converter and it is just a primer. Don't be disillusioned to think that you will do this in two hours time. And if you get the same result, I want to employ you. Because it took us a day yesterday just to prepare the cabinet. So here we are. A basically very, very quick tutorial on how we do it with pale boiled oil. Thank you for your time and have a great day.